So thank you very much, Nick, for coming and visiting me in Leewards. Um, this is where I work as a, an engagement ranger and I have the joy of bringing my dog to work. So I walk him in the woods as well and take loads of pictures, mostly for pleasure and also for work. And I was hoping you could give some top tips on how I can use my camera. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. I'm a filmmaker and a photographer and uh, it's lovely to be here in Bristol in this lovely Lee Woods Park. So we're here on the plain, which is a nice open bit of uh, the woods. I thought it would be quite a nice place to try and take the photos of Todd, our moving subject matter really. OK, well, we need to try and trap Todd in motion. So there's three ways I'm going to show you uh, with this particular camera in a new mode called 4K photo mode. One is like a burst mode, It'll come, as you press the shutter down, it will always continuously focus and take recordings. Another mode is where you just press it, the shutter down once and it will record like a video until you press it again it will stop recording. And the third, the burst mode 4K photo mode will, once you've set it running, it will take a second before and a second after once you hit the shutter button. So with this way, hopefully, you should never miss a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we should try that out then. Yeah, let's give it a go. Uh, that onto there. If I put it onto the what's called a 4K burst shutter mode to seconds, it means that once you hit record, it's recording like a video and it, that'll go on for half an hour if you let it go. Right. So what we're going to try and do now with the autofocus continuous, once you touch the screen on his nose or eyes, it should follow, the square should follow Todd around. Now we're looking at Todd over here. I've registered him with my focus mode, actually tracking him as he moves. You can see a square focus tracking him, so I'm always in focus. And in this lovely 4K photo mode, every frame is an 8 megapixel picture. This is the actual timeline above, and it shows me below 30 frames at a time of photos. Each one of those is 8 megapixels. And then if you like that one, you can touch that button there and save that image as a JPEG. So you'll never miss a thing with this feature. You get the idea, have a go. Zoom in and hit the shutter button. And then touch focus, we're using tracking focus, remember? So then it should be quite a nice one of him shaking then. Mm. Oh look, it's funny. Yeah, that's good. Save. Lovely. Thank you so much for coming today, Nick. I've really enjoyed sort of learning a bit more about the camera and how I can apply sort of the knowledge you've given me to making better photos. And I really look forward to going out and giving it all a bit more practice in the beautiful Lee Woods. So yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you very much for having me.